Hey everybody, welcome back to the, uh, the 300ZX project here in Glen's Garage. Um, so I thought I'd do a video here, I'd just give a bit of an update where I am, where the progress is on the um, restoration project here. Uh, I think I said in the episode 2 that I was going to start on brakes and suspension, and that's what I've been doing. I've been cracking on with the, the right front initially. Um, so after I did all the inspection, I ordered a bunch of parts on what I thought I needed, and then I did some more investigating, and I ordered some more parts, um, and they've all they've all come in. I got all the parts in except the lowering springs, and this is sort of where my problem or holdup, if you will, has, has shown up. Um, I ordered them at a place in Toronto, uh, free shipping, ground shipping, so I had to come from Toronto out here to the west coast. So it took. That took almost two weeks by the time I placed the order to a uh, perlator showing up with a package on my door. Um, then I guess that's where the issue started is the package was suspiciously small that they left. And when I opened it up, they had shipped me, yeah, there we are, these, two of these things. I think they're electromagnets, don't know, frankly don't really care. Um, but I got in touch and was like, what the is this? And after about a week, they said, oh, I'm sorry, we can't ship those lowering springs. You'll get a refund. So the refund showed up uh, two days ago, I guess. So I'm on the hunt for more lowering springs now. Um, now I've gotten the brakes off, the strut out. Uh, the strut's all been disassembled and the conversion's basically ready for to go from adjustable to non-adjustable. Um, anyone who knows these turbo cars will know that's effectively what you have to do these days if you're not going to coilovers. Um, so all that's done, the videos are ready that far, but I can't sort of put everything back together and finish up and that until the, the springs show up. Um, so that's sort of given me a delay. Now it's a project car, I understand that I'm on no real timeline, but it's nevertheless a little frustrating. Um, but Regardless, I thought I'd uh, take the time to show you what I have got done um, under the, the wheel arch and then the parts that I've gotten cleaned up, the level of detailing, restoration, if you will, of the parts that aren't being replaced to bring them to look like new. So it's kind of what you see here is going to be what's done on all four corners and underneath the car in general. Um, and then we'll be carrying on doing that level of detail under the hood with yeah, you know, all the mechanical stuff. So why don't I take you over now? I'll show you what we've got done on the car. And um, yeah, hopefully soon we have some springs. All right, so we cleaned up all the wheel arch, uh, the control arms in, new ball joints and everything, all the knuckles all set back up here. This is just waiting to get the strut back in and then we can connect everything up. And then of course the brakes can go on. Um, Everything's been cleaned up. It's been rocker guarded under here again, uh, just so it looks nice and clean. This is the process that's gonna be used on all four corners. So it looks nice under here. And I'm hopeful in the next week or so, the I'll get a different set of springs in here and um, we will plug ahead and get all the suspension done. Meantime, I'll show you what we've got done. So this is all the stuff I've been prettying up. So that's, for me, that's sort of part of the restoration is to make things look, try and make things look new. So not only are we bolting new parts on where they're worn out, but we're trying to bring everything back to look new and, you know, prettier. So, um, so I'm putting new cartridges in here. There's a video on doing that, converting these from adjustable to non-adjustable with the KYB cartridges. And what I've done on this is I've sanded it down, refinished it. Um, you can see I painted it sort of a gold color. In fact, it's a, it's a BMW, it's called Sahara Beige. It was the BMW convertible project that was in the garage last, and I had some paint left over. So I thought I'd do that rather than it be black. Um, pretty up, so paint that, threw some clear coat on it, and I'm really pleased with how that looks as well now. So that looks good, we're all ready. I mean, I could put the cartridge in, but I don't have the spring, so there's little point in putting it all back together. All right, so, I mean, that's that's where we are. Um, I wish we were further along. If I had the lowering springs, I for sure that both front 
suspensions would be completed by now and the rears would be ripped out. Um, but we are where we are. And it's not that I don't have a lot of other things I could be doing. Uh, for sure, there's a whole car here to be restored. But I don't want to sort of jump back and forth between you know, suspension, the engine, the interior. Parts get lost, you forget how things go together. So I'd rather focus on brake suspension, get all that sorted and all the wheel arches cleaned up and underneath cleaned up. Then we'll move into the engine compartment. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you keep tuning in to see the project move on when it finally gets the right parts here. And as always, a like, a subscribe would be awesome. Much appreciated for the channel. And everyone stay safe, drive carefully.